The S-400 is India's key air defense system developed by Russia. It is one of the most advanced long-range surface-to-air missile systems in the world. With its ability to detect track hundreds of targets and shoot down enemy aircraft, cruise missiles, even some ballistic missiles, it's no surprise India signed a $5.4 billion deal in 2018 to get five S-400 regiments. But the big question is, can this air defense beast really protect India, especially against Pakistani aircraft and missiles? Let's break it down. The S-400 is not just one big missile launcher, it's a full network of radars, launchers and command vehicles working together like a team. Each regiment usually includes. The S-400 has three main radars working together. One sees faraway targets up to 600 kilometers. Another watches low-flying threats like drones and cruise missiles up to 300 kilometers. And the third helps guide the missiles to hit the target. It uses four types of missiles. One can shoot down planes from 400 kilometers away. Another covers 250 kilometers. A mid-range one goes 120 kilometers. And the short-range one is for fast-moving jets or drones up to 40 to 60 kilometers. In simple words, it's built to catch and destroy anything flying, high or low, near or far. Each S-400 missile comes with a heavy price. The longest range one costs around $1.5 to $2 million. The 250-kilometer missile is about $1 million. The medium range costs $500,000 to $800,000. And the short range one is around $300,000 to $500,000. In short, every shot from the S-400 is powerful, but expensive, and that's one of its weak points. It means India would have to think twice before launching an interceptor. The system can't afford to shoot at every aerial threat, and cheap flying decoys could quickly drain its costly missiles. Out of the five S-400 regiments that India has ordered, it has so far received three, and the rest are expected by 2026. Each regiment covers a huge area, almost a full state, India is smartly placing them where they're needed most. India has its first S-400 unit deployed near the Punjab-Haryana border, keeping a close watch on Pakistan. The second unit is stationed in the northeast, focused on China. The remaining units are likely positioned in Maharashtra and central India to protect key cities and vital infrastructure. The S-400 is definitely a powerful defense system, but like other top systems in the world, it is not invincible. Ukraine has demonstrated this by successfully destroying multiple S-400 systems. Here is how S-400 could be exploited. Ukraine used low-flying, stealthy cruise missiles like Storm Shadow that slipped under radar coverage. They also used drones as decoys, jammed radar signals, and attacked when systems weren't fully alert. Pakistan, with Chinese support, could try the same playbook. Pakistan could launch Babur cruise missiles, flying as low as 10 to 15 meters. Though the S-400 can detect targets at 5 to 10 meters, terrain like hills and valleys can block its radar. This is the radar horizon problem. Pakistan could exploit this weakness by using the mountainous terrain of the Kashmir Valley to sneak in low-flying Babur missiles or aircraft, reducing their chances of being detected. Alongside this, Pakistan could use cheap drones or missile decoys to exhaust the expensive S-400 interceptors or confuse the system into misidentifying the real threat. A full S-400 regiment typically includes eight launchers, with each launcher having four missile tubes. That's a total of 32 ready-to-fire missiles per regiment. With reloads, it can carry around 100-plus missiles in total. However, the reload time, which is around 5 to 10 minutes, is a factor during battle and could be a critical weakness of the system. 
Pakistan could potentially receive advanced electronic warfare. Aircraft like the Y-8, EW, or J-16 from China, which could disrupt the S-400's radar and communication systems. While they may not make the S-400 ineffective, jamming could degrade its performance and increase vulnerability. Chinese satellites could also track the exact location of the S-400 system, which Pakistan could target by launching its Ababil missile. The missile can release multiple warheads, and while the S-400 might intercept one or two, the rest could get through. The S-400 is a big protective umbrella over India's skies. But no matter how good it is, it's not bulletproof. Ukraine proved that you can kill an S-400. India knows this, which is why it is building a layered defense system by using Akash and QRSAM missiles, along with homegrown radars, to create multiple levels of protection. 